Photographer Pedro E. Guerrero is best known for how he captured the worlds of the architect Frank Lloyd Wright and the sculptors Alexander Calder and Louise Nevelson. He was one of the most sought-after photographers of the Mad Men era, yet his own story was largely unknown until the national PBS broadcast of the American master's film Pedro E. Guerrero, A Photographer's Journey. Guerrero was a Mexican-American born in 1917 and raised in segregated Mesa, Arizona. He was an art school student who, at age 22, had the confidence to ask a world-famous architect for a job. He was soon hired by the most prestigious magazines in New York City. He was a man who, at age 92, could say, I've had a glorious life, and it continues to be that way. Since American Masters Pedro E. Guerrero, A Photographer's Journey, was broadcast in September 2015 on PBS, hundreds of people, students and adults alike, have learned about him and his legacy through screenings, panels, and in free workshops held by five public television stations across the country. PBS station AETN, which serves all of Arkansas, held a workshop for 17 Hispanic middle schoolers all English as a Second Language students in the North Little Rock School District. After watching American Masters, Pedro E. Guerrero, A Photographer's Journey, they learned how to use a digital camera, how to download photos, and how to share work on social media. They also learned about architecture in North Little Rock's historic district of Argenta, which the students photographed with the new cameras that they could take home to keep. The Arkansas Arts Center exhibited the students' photography during a public screening of the documentary. AETN's workshop partners included Blue-Eyed Knocker Photography Collaborative, North Little Rock History Commission, the City of North Little Rock, and Preserve Arkansas. KCOS Public Television in El Paso, Texas, partnered with the Texas Trost Society and El Paso Library to host two workshops that were free to the public. 25 people took part. The University of Texas El Paso and owners of historic homes in Sunset Heights opened their doors to the photographers. Participants learned about El Paso's architectural history and on the university campus explored the unusual Bhutanese architecture there. Since 1917, the university has based its buildings on the designs of Bhutanese monasteries, and the campus includes a hand-carved temple originally from Bhutan. WNET New York Public Media partnered with Project Luz to hold an eight-week Spanish-language photography workshop for immigrant women, based on the work of Pedro E. Guerrero. WNET and Project Luz also hosted a bilingual workshop open to the public at the Guggenheim Museum, a Frank Lloyd Wright masterpiece in New York City that Guerrero himself photographed many times throughout his career. In Los Angeles, PBS SoCal, the Latino Community Council, Los Photos Project, and architectural photographer Lane Barden joined forces to lead a photography workshop for 21 teenage girls. The girls' photograph sites in downtown Los Angeles, including Alexander Calder's sculpture, Four Arches. In Albuquerque, New Mexico, eight Latino high school students from RFK Charter High School and two Native American teen fellows from the journalism program of Generation Justice joined a day-long photography workshop led by New Mexico PBS and photographer Miguel Gandert. Gandert brought a large format camera to explain how Pedro E. Guerrero photographed works by Frank Lloyd Wright. In response to an American master's social media campaign, people have shared thousands of photos inspired by Pedro Guerrero using the hashtag PedroPBS. People shared their own photographs of Frank Lloyd Wright buildings, 
in Arizona, California, Wisconsin, and New York. Architecture, design, dramatic lighting, and unusual compositions were highlights of the photos tagged Pedro PBS. Sculptures by Alexander Calder were among the many public artworks photographed for the campaign. Images of fine art in museums and studios were shared as well. Visit the American Masters website to watch the documentary and see a gallery of Pedro E. Guerrero's photos, plus highlights from the public television workshops and the Pedro PBS campaign. You can be part of Pedro's legacy by tagging your photos on Instagram with the hashtag PedroPBS.